Hashtag Ancient America Did You Know? Hashtag Ancient Indian Trails Territory Map Hashtag Boundaries Landlines Land Grab History Hashtag Now We Know Discoveries that have been made, however, indicate that mound building was a rather general practice among the aboriginal inhabitants, the purpose being usually interment of the dead. By far the greatest number of mounds have been discovered in the southern half of the Lower Peninsula, in a triangle having the Indian-Ohio boundary as its base and the head of Saginaw Bay as its apex. One of the largest mounds was on the Rouge River at what is now Delray. As described by Bella Hubbard in his Memorials of Half a Century, it was 40 feet high and several hundred feet long. It gave evidence of having been used for burial by successive generations and possibly by successive tribes, as the soil containing skeletons was evidently stratified. Some mounds formed effigies, many of which were serpentine in shape, others were surrounded by enclosures or associated with them. Enclosures usually consist of circular or elliptical embankments, from two to five feet in height, about an area of one acre or slightly more. Sometimes they are surrounded by a moat, hence the belief that they may have been forts. Some show evidence of not having been used for more than 250 years. In addition to the mounds and enclosures, ditches and pits, large and small, are among the most common earthworks as yet undestroyed. The pits were most frequently used for cooking and for storage, some yielding up kernels and ears of corn preserved from decay for years, perhaps centuries. There is an ancient highway in northwestern Lower Michigan. Native American artifacts and campsites can be found along the trail. Artifacts and burial mounds were also found. In one area along the trail near Messick, approximately 50 mounds were found. Near Buckley, 150 circular fire pits were discovered by U.S. Forest Service personnel. Those who travel its fading lanes often find themselves on a journey that leads them back in time. Faded and worn stone markers remain at certain sections of the trail to point the way down the old highway, which has nearly been lost in the pages of time. The evidence that it was also an old stagecoach route is that there are tracks of wagon wheels found along certain parts of the trail.